that's not a reptile or an invertebrate, that's Elvis, the kid. Right, so welcome to my little show of my invertebrates. This is my biggest tank. This is my hmm, my big shrimp and snails. Haha, <laughs> that's oh, you can't hardly see it. It's a bamboo shrimp. Lots and lots of snails, as you can see. Um, got a ivory apple snail there as well. Also have some really cool clams. It's a 30 liter aquarium. Um, needing to tidy up a bit in there, I think, but it's mainly okay just now. And these uh, are my rescue red claw crabs in their paludarium. Um, as you can see, it's sort of 75 water, 25% land. They like to climb around in there. There's a little guy now. You can see him, I don't know, he's just there. Um, I'm hoping I can build a better one of these. Uh, I really like these guys. They were rescue from social work, um, so I wasn't meant to have them. But I do love them, and so I hope I can build a better one soon. So, welcome to the main event, so to speak. Um, I've got some feeder insects here. Um, these are creepy, horrible and nasty little bean weevils. That's right, they eat beans. Hmm. They are going to be feeders for what's going to be in here. The little guy hasn't arrived just yet. Um, this is a very nice Perspex 4 inch cube from House of Spiders. So as you guess, there's going to be a tarantula in there. And in here, with their night light on, are my hermit crabs. I uh, don't think any of them are particularly interested in being out and about at the moment. Um, but you can see here is their food. Some chicken pellets and a banana. They've also got fresh water and salt water ponds and some climbing stuff and obviously spare shells. Need that. In here is my illustrious stick insect, my Peruvian beauty. He's just up there. He shedded about maybe a week ago and he is now an adult. He's very large and he's kind of creeping me out so hopefully he won't get any larger. Anyway, in here used to be my crystal red shrimp and my cherry shrimp, however, they all died. I was chasing snails with salad and it was infected with something and they all died and it was very sad. So, I still need to get rid of the snail problem. Therefore, I got these guys. You can see there, they're bumblebee or assassin snails. They're very efficient. Not a single snail. Like a dead one there, but never mind. Okay, moving on, this is my uh, starter rack of Exoterra small breeding boxes. On the top here are my purple flower beetles. They are very cool. They're not out just now. Um, oh no, there's one. He's eating banana. Uh, I try and make them as naturalistic as possible, even for these little guys. You know make them feel at home and down here you probably won't see anything a little exoterra cave with some banana and some cuttlefish and that's my giant african land snails they're not there I decided to go into hiding oh here's one but you can hardly see him oh hang on i think we've got a visitor here who is this kid hi Oh, really? Are you unhappy because you're not the main event? With these bloody invertebrates. You've taken over my life. Anyway, moving on, here's the really cool Reptile Forum UK unofficial calendar. One of my hermit crabs featured in here in June. I've got to show everyone because I'm so proud of her. In April. If I can get the right picture. There she is. 
It's my hermit crab, Hermione, who is somewhere in here. I don't know where. Anyway, so that's my setup. Um, I really like this light here. I'll show you how it works. Um, it's an LED light. I bought it cheap on eBay, but it does the full spectrum normal light, which they need for a 12 hour cycle, but then they also do a moonlight, which is handy obviously, because uh, if you want to shut them down for the night but still see them, you can shine a blue light on them. I do the same thing for these guys. They've got an exoterra bulb in there that also gives them heat. That means I don't have to faff about and try and get the right heating for them. Uh, with heat mats because they don't seem to work very well for me even with matte stats for some reason. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little view of my bug house and hopefully you shall see a spider soon in here.